Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Unit 4 Simple Present Statements. Dear students, in this unit we will study about simple present statements, that is, simple present verb in a sentence. Let us look at the objectives of this unit. After completing this unit, you will be able to identify simple present verb in a sentence okay use simple present verb in yes no questions and short answers okay now let us look at the first statement I eat breakfast okay I don't eat lunch now look at this verb eat okay this eat is in simple present I eat breakfast I don't eat lunch you have coffee you don't have tea okay try to pay attention to these simple present verb okay we get up late okay we don't get up early okay they read the paper they don't read books he listens to the radio he doesn't listen to the news she watches TV she doesn't watch DVDs now if you look at these verb like eat have get up read okay you will see that these verb I you we and they okay I you we and they we use the verb in simple present okay without any change okay but if you look at these two subject like he and she okay and if you look at the verb here listens and watches okay so what we do we add s to he and she okay and even it if we have he she and it okay we add s or es at the end of the verb okay you can see here in he she it we added s gets watches okay plays and if you see here with I, U, V and they, we haven't added S here. Okay. Now another important thing uh, you need to remember here is with I, U, V and they, we use do. Okay. And with he, she, it, we use does. Okay. Also with he, she and it, we use has and I, U, V and they, we use have I have you have we have they have okay this is very important if you remember this you will never have confusion about the use of simple present way to use do or way to use uh, does okay let's do more some more practice about yes no question on this uh, in this unit like do you go to a class in the evening yes I do no I don't okay remember as as I talked with you about do we use with I you we and they okay do you go to a class in the evening yes I do no I don't okay do you and your friends play sports after class yes we do no we don't okay so you can see here with you we are using do and the form of the verb is in simple present without s okay do you and your friends play sports after class yes we do no we don't okay does your father work on the weekend yes he does no he doesn't so can you see the difference here do with you and does with he okay 
Do your friends make phone calls at night? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Okay. Do your friends make phone calls at night? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Okay. So this is all for today in this unit. Hope you have got enough idea. Okay, about the usage of uh, the form of the verb with I, you, we, and they. Okay, and with he, she, and it, and the use of do and does. Okay, so this is all for today. Hope you have enjoyed the class. See you in the next class. We'll begin our examination of all the tenses by first looking at the present tense. There are four present tenses, and we'll begin with the present simple tense. It's the most common tense in the English language, as it talks about things in general, general facts, routines, habits. Those are usages that we'll look at in a little while, but first, let's focus on the form of the tense. Here, we've got our subjects, I, you, we, they, and the base form of the verb, followed by the rest of our sentence. Here, for the he, she, and it subjects, we have to conjugate our verb, and in this case, we've added an es for teaches, followed by the rest of our sentence. With subjects I, you, we, and they, the pattern stays the same throughout. We use the base form of the verb. However, with subjects he, she, and it, we have some patterns for verb conjugations that we need to have a look at. First, and most common, we added simply an S for verbs like work, play. This is what we typically see within our language. However, when we have verbs with spelling patterns such as ending in CH, SH, Z, S, and our shorter verbs, do and go, we have to add our ES. Then, for verbs that end in a consonant and Y, we drop our Y and add our IES. Finally, we have our irregular verbs, be and have. For subject I, we use am. For the subject he, she, and it, we use is, whereas with you, we, and they, we use are. Finally, we have have, which stays as have for these subjects, I, you, we, and they, but for he, she, and it, we change have to has.